Sure. My name is Tom Cheney uh, from the North Plains Veterinary Clinic, the veterinarian here. And just want to go over brushing dog teeth with you today. And here's some interesting facts is that dogs have a lot of teeth. They have 42, uh, adult dogs do. And this is a schematic of the upper jaw of a dog. What a lot of people don't realize is if you start brushing these teeth in a nice straight line, that once you get back to this tooth here, that if you keep brushing in a straight line, you're gonna miss these teeth back here. I call this little region here the devil's triangle. And once you get into here, what you need to do is you need to rotate the toothbrush out and get all the way back here to brush these other two teeth that are in the mouth. It's hard to believe they have that many, but, uh, but it's true. Um, where is this tooth? If we look at this schematic here, right below the eye is where this, where that, uh, where this big tooth is. This big tooth right here is this tooth here. And that will become important in just a moment because the neat thing is you don't even need to open their mouth to brush their, their teeth. Now one of the things we like to subscribe to here is the bass method. And that's where the toothbrush, hopefully you can see my uh, uh, drawing here, but toothbrush is meant to be at a 45 degree angle. And you want to make sure when you're brushing teeth that we're, you can go back and forth but we need to make sure that it's engaging the gum line of the tooth at a 45 degree angle. Again, that's something known as the bass method. All right, so are you ready, Bethany? We're gonna go ahead and see if we can get your tooth, teeth brushed here. I recommend using toothpaste. We use CET toothpaste here. This particular one I think is vanilla mint flavored. I really like that one. And I think starting with the back teeth is wise because that's where most of the problems are. And to be quite honest, if you uh, if they if they decide they don't want to have the teeth brushed anymore and you start it up here, then you never get to the part that uh, needs the most work. Now, one of the things I mentioned earlier is you don't even need to have their mouth open because that tooth we were talking about is right below the eye there. And if we can open up her mouth like this. You can see that tooth there that's right below her eye, if you can see, see that there. And so as far as brushing her teeth go, I'm going to step over to this side here so I can actually reach her. So Beth is a really good dog here, and the nice thing is there's a lot of room here, okay? This toothbrush will fit right in here, and all we have to do is get down to below the eye, and we'll be at that tooth we talked about. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll hold their mouth closed and brush. And I don't know if you can hear the sound, but I can hear the sound of a toothbrush rubbing up against the, the tooth, so I know I'm in the right spot. If you can't hear it, you're probably up on the gum. And so now what I'm going to do is reach it all the way back and angle it out so I can engage those other teeth. Now you can always take a look and see whether you're getting in there, and we are, and to just go ahead and brush those teeth. And then on your way out, you'll go ahead and brush these other teeth. Now you can just keep their mouth closed if you want. And then I'll go ahead and brush Beth's other side here. And you can if you want to just hold everything open and brush it. But you can do it just fine actually with the closed. And go all the way back, angle out, and get those back teeth. Again, I'm always trying to keep this angled up against the gum at a 45 degree angle. Do the last ones, the front ones last. And on the bottom jaw, you can go ahead and just angle it down this way. You're going to want 45 degrees down. I don't know if you guys can see here. And we'll do the other side. The dog would usually naturally open their mouth just a little bit, allowing you to get to those teeth. And then we'll just do the front ones again. Again, you want this angle at about 45 degrees. And you did very, very good. All right, thank you very much, and that's how you brush a dog's teeth.